Hello, how's the microphone? Hello, how's the microphone? There we go, perfect. Awesome. Good morning. Welcome to the chillest stream today. We're going to be taking it easy. We're going to be laxing and relaxing, as they say. Just playing some good old-fashioned NES games. Like, like we used to do back in the day. So let's... Let's do it man let's let's get to streaming let's get to streaming some video games and today we're gonna be starting with what i assume is not a chill video game because it's literally called rad racer 2 um, rad racer i believe one of the first games released on the nes or one of the early ones let's look at my list here rad racer is okay where are you rad racer it's not that early apparently oh my where is rad racer rad racer number 76 in my list here which is obviously the correct list and we're up to what 339 or 340 now rad racer 2 brought to you by square the makers of final fantasy so I'm assuming this is a radical racing RPG. Let's have a look. Let's start. The logo's pretty good, for one thing. Music, sing yourself. Okay, so there's no music in this game. We gotta sing by ourselves. Or maybe is it... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. So you can just say, Hey, man. I'm gonna take care of the music. Don't worry about it, Rad Racer. I'm gonna bring my Paula Abdul CDs. I'm gonna put that in the game. We're gonna be ready to rip. But you know what? Gumball Crash, okay. That's pretty good. Not radical, though. Yeah, this is a bit more my speed. This is a bit more chill to me. This is some good coast-to-coast... -coast seven hour drive music all right let's go coast to coast in rad racer 2. this looks exactly like my memory of rad racer 1. Oh, but the car does look like it moves a bit smoother i'm going 160 miles per hour now so you better watch out Yeah, this is pretty chill, actually. Just just driving. It's more like Rad Driver than actual Rad Racer. But hey. Just driving. Taking it easy. Oh no. We've got some traffic here. Okay. I'm not sure how to lose yet. Maybe I could run out of gas or power or something. Okay, we've got some variety of enemy cars that are blocking the road. Something happened there. I don't know what exactly, but there was a noise. Oh, is that lap one? Okay, lap one. All right. No problems. We're just too good for this game. Excuse me. Just passing through. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Taking corners at 200 miles an hour. That's dangerous. Apparently. Apparently. Okay. Just chilling, man. Let's do it. I think this is the first actual racing game on the NES that I haven't crashed in like two seconds. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Am I winning though? That's that's another question. I'm not even sure if there is any competition to be had here. I have to slow down. What happened? What happened? Why am I... Am I dying? What 
I ran out of gas, maybe? I ran out of radicalness? There you go. Okay. Let's try again. I'm not sure what's up. Oh, there's there's time down there. Like a like a classic racing game, okay. Let's maybe keep an eye on that. You can't break in Rad Racer, you have to go fast at all times. Nothing is less radical than taking your time, that's for sure. Okay, okay, excuse me, sirs. Excuse oh my god, there's so much traffic. These guys are going 250 miles per hour, too, so... Oh. Okay, 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 7 seconds... Oh, okay, so I just barely made it. That's what the noise was for. Gotcha. But you really have to be perfect to get... to beat the first level in Rad Racer 2. Uh, oh, there we go. That was a good corner. I'm proud of that. I'm still going to lose, though, but... Damn it, damn it. Get out of the way, Pinky. Yep, I think that's... I think that's the end for a good old Rad Racer. Level lap 2. Always a tricky one. Come on. No, 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 no! Getting bounced around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, oh, got it. That was... Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I got 40 seconds up now. There is a power bar there. What does that do? How do I get more power? Do I kill other cars, maybe? That wouldn't be very radical of me, though. Let's, let's just keep racing. Get out the way, doofus. Stop the... Stop it. Oh my god. Oh! That's... I was right there. Oh, I did it! Hooray! Okay, so we're in the Big Apple now. Which is, for those who don't know, it's Chicago. So, let's, let's get some, uh, some Chicago music here. Yeah, this fits the bill for some Chicago-ass action. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Nice use of darkness. We're we're midnight racing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this music fits perfectly. Hey, I'm dry. I'm I'm racing over here. That's what they say in this game every time. God, the traffic's killer here. Nice and easy. Yeah, this this game uh, controls way smoother than past racing games. Seems like the further the further in we get into the NES life cycle, the better developers get at making good racing games on the system. Isn't that surprising? Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
Uh, you can, as you can see in the background there, uh, there's a nice, uh, beautiful representation of the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center. So that's 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 certainly something that uh, old games have to deal with. Yeah, I'm nailing this, dude. I'm nailing this. Yep. Watch out. Oh, oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. That was a lot of bouncing. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardonnez-moi. Oh, that that's gonna cost you. Look like looks like this is the end for our rad racers adventures. Or maybe he can pull out a last second win by using the bounce technique. Yeah! Now that's radical. I still don't know what the, the power power done. The power thing does. Gettysburg. As in the Battle of? That's... These are some weird selection of, of cities to race in. What? This sounds I'm I'm not gonna sing myself, I'm sorry to say. I'm gonna go back to coast to coast here. Oh yeah, this this feels very much They spent all their money on the on the New York level, for sure. This looks just like the first one, but a different color. But there's hills! Yeah, this is this is chill. I'm chilling right now. Oh. Yep, this is a this is an extremely all right racing game, which is surprising considering the standard of racing games for the NES. I'm out. Yeah, last second wins every time. That's that's rad. Mm. Taking a nice Sunday drive at 230 miles per hour. I'm not sure if Gettysburg really has three three lane roads though. I've never been so I wouldn't know. And based on what I'm seeing here, Gettysburg has as much traffic as New York City. So I don't know. I'm not sure that's true. Beautiful second lap here. So what's our guy's name? The driver's name? He has to have some sort of radical, cool-ass guy name. He probably has a leather jacket, for sure, in there. Uh, I don't know what he would... For some reason, I have Derek as, an, as a name in my head. Derek, the Rad Racer. I don't know if that fits, but you don't choose your name, right? You get to choose if you want to be radical or not, but you can't choose your name. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ugh. Derek does it again.
Yeah, Monument Valley, though, has to be dead silent. I'm not going to talk for this entire race. That, that was impossible. I lost. And then I have to start all over again. Which I would which the radical person in me would say, No thank you sir, I'm done. So that was Rad Racer. Which, also by the way, hey bye bye, I see you again. Rad Racer 2. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. But that, it's hard. So I'm going to give it a 2 for Rad Racer 2. There you go. Okay. Things are, games are getting better. Which I, I would always assume that, like, oh, well, the first... The first year of NES games were always the best because Nintendo made them. But actually, you can see like third party games getting better too, which is the year is 1990, an alien moon appears in the night sky. Waves of rocket ships descend upon Europe, carving out a new country. Great Greater Lutonia, a strange force field, protects the moon from American and Soviet missile attacks. Okay, okay. Chapter 1. That's all you need to know, buddies. In the dark hours of morning, Lutonians land a Zeppelin in Washington, D.C. that nobody noticed, by the way, and kidnap the top American scientist, Otto Barnstorff, and Jane, his beautiful daughter. Yeah, uh, Barnstorff is totally a American name. It's not... A uh, World War II Nazi scientist that was converted to that became an American citizen after the war. Actually, we need to rewind this and and uh, finish this story. Uh, Jane Barnstorff. Excuse me, I'm trying to read. Uh, his beautiful daughter. The airship turns to escape high above the Atlantic. If you hurry, you still might foil Commander Craggs' plot. Let's get going. Okay, so I've got options here. Let's go to the war room. The general is there. Okay. You report to the CIA's director, Fred Bulldog Brady. Okay. He orders his top five agents to be placed in your command. Bulldog's not the name of a uh, compassionate leader. Let's say that. And what is this? There's the blimp. I see it. It looks like a penis. I cannot touch the penis. What's over here? Lutonia not infiltrated. Infiltrate cover low risk. Reserves assigned. No, I don't want to do this. God. Let's, let's. Oh man, I'm making. I'm speeding up time and I was arrested. Two MPs enter the room and inform you the president has ordered you arrested for cowardice. Because I've skipped the... Okay, you have spent far too long in the war room risking the CIA's best agents for no apparent gain. Meanwhile, Craig gains the upper hand. Damn it. America lost. Because I waited 
six months before doing anything. Oh my god. This this is freaking intense, man. Let's uh can I skip this? You can't skip real consequences in war. Anyway, chapter one. Okay. Yep. Okay, what's what's up with the fuel depot? Okay, I can probably do that. Rocket lab? Procure five rocket parts and load 200 units of Lunarium. That, that's Moon Rocks, by the way. Lunarium. Let's take off. You know what? Let's go to the penis blimp. I'm no coward. Thousands of feet above the Atlantic looms the ominous cigar. Yeah, cigar. Yeah, right. Shape of the Leviathan Zeppelin. First, you'll have to knock out several of the aerial torpedoes to get in closer. Aerial torpedoes, not missiles. It's aerial torpedoes, it's not the same thing. Then aim at the gondola to hit the alien gunners. This dirigible is filled with gas. Flammable. Oh, what? No, what is this? I, what, what is this? Hello, video game. What are you? Would you be interested in making sense, please? I, I think I got one. Also, what alien... What alien race comes in is like... Hey, blimps, man. Never mind our UFOs. Let's just let's just use these blimps. The big splash. Oh, I skipped the big splash. I want to know what's happening with the big splash. Aerial torpedoes damage the rocket suit and the engine sputters and begin losing altitude rapidly. Time to use the emergency parachute. The chute pops open with a violent jolt. You drift to the landing on the water and send out a distress call, riding the ocean swells. You wait two hours before a rescue helicopter picks you up and returns you to Fort Dick. You lose two weeks making repairs. Oh wow, okay. Chapter 2. Drag us take Jane and Otto to the Lunarium Bomb Factory in Lutania. He plans to use Jane and his guinea pigs to test his new brainwashing device. We can still reach the factory before Jane is reduced to a slobbering zombie. Once subjected to the vile device, they will be unable to stand up to Craig's evil plans. But you'll save them. After all, you're Rocket Ranger, aren't you? And stop wasting time and fly to Lutonia. So, because I lost... This is a branching path, basically. Now I have to go to Lutonia. Lutonia. Not enough fuel, so now I need to get some fuel. Okay. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally spent a month doing nothing. Okay, fuel depot. I'm gonna get some of that fuel. You? War room. General, Mr. Bulldog, can you please do anything useful? What's going on in these areas? Arabia. You know what? Change orders. Change cover. Report. Operation still in progress. Well report at penetration. Hey guys, I'll report at penetration. I met this new girl today. Anyway, let's go to Lutonia. Nope. How do I? Do not press the select button. Because that'll... I'll accidentally get into a one-month coma. Alright. Lutonia. Sept. Wait. Sept? Dogfight in the clouds. Let's get to it. 
Approaching ground, while factor eight, start throwing these out of the enemy in a few moments with this guy with a spoke swarm of death dealing fighter planes. Your rocket suit will safely take two or three hits, but the, lo the laser pistol is still your best protection. Suddenly, in the distance, dark specks begin to appear. You swallow hard. The Lieutenant fighters have appeared right on schedule because we're in Europe. Ooh. Did you hear that? Did you hear the... Ugh. I'm not really sure where I should be to hit them, though. That's the tricky part. Like, I have to be under like that. And that's kind of... I would say bad. But... I don't want to pass quality judgments. I'll just say... Not fun for me. There we go. Also, purple pants. You know what? I'm pretty sure that's not army issue. Well, if... if... Uh, I'm in black and white now. What? Landing near the center of the complex, you are soon surrounded by Lutonian troops. They seize your laser pistol and take you to crack the alien commander. He sneers triumphantly. <laughs> And you are pushed into the room where Jane and Otto are being held. Ah, the famous Rocket Ranger. I'm glad you have come at last. Please join us in a little chat. Your friends have been most patient. Craig orders you tied up by the girl. And then interrog interrogation begins. Fire to continue. And this is a... Oh my god. Playing the Luton The Lutonians are playing right into your rocket hands. Now if you can make them believe the whopper you're about to tell. You explain that the factory in Ohio is mass-producing rocket suits. Craig tries to catch you in a mistake, but your tail holds up under cross-examination. At last, he leaves the room. Now is your chance. Leaping to your feet, you try and subdue the guard. Fire to continue. Oh, oh my god. This is the most... This is like Mass Effect, but on the NES, man. Uh... I'm trying, I'm trying to, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm moving my feet here, I'm dancing, I'm wiggling. Am I, I punched him, punched him again, he punched me, I punched him again, I punched, no, 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 I punched him, yep, I got it, I got it, I got it, I'm the rocket man, I'm the rocket ranger. I've got the range, and I've got the rockets. That's what I call my arms, by the way. This is this is the most epic brawl I've ever seen. Oh my god, Rocket Ranger, please punch this man one last time. Dude, give up. Give up, dude. Give up. Please give up. There you go. Hooray! Now for some text, please. I do like the epic black and white transitions, though. That's pretty dope. A hero in the making. Your efforts are rewarded, even if your fist is a little sore. You find the barn stores and escape to freedom upon your return to Fort Dick. You receive a hero's welcome. The papers are emblazoned with banner headlines. Rocket Ranger rescues scientists. Of course, you are above such nonsense. Craig is waiting, and you don't want to disappoint him, don't you? Do you? There we go. We did it. We saved. What about the rocket lab? Load 200 units of Lunarium into rocket. Okay. We can do that. That's, I'm going to need some juice, though. So let's... Let's... What? Let's go with... The obvious right answer. There we go. And put the rest in the rocket ship. Alright. Uh, so, war room. What should we be doing next? Report. That's blinking. Situation critical. A Lutonian named Krag plans to conquer Earth with Lunarium bombs. Bomb factory here, but Lunarium coming from base on alien moon. Base must be destroyed. 
suggest you build rocket with stolen parts okay hey the the, the story is unfolding here but we need to find some rocket parts that looks like a rocket part let's go to italy report made contact with ali allied forces they report alien fuel dump in vicinity be careful spotted fighter squadron practicing maneuvers i don't need gas i need parts is that a part okay no okay we got we've got a guy here oh so these are guys okay gotcha what about down here can you give me a report buddy <laughs> Whammo! Winds of war are shifting. Plutonian fighters being assembled in local factory. CIA backed resistance ineffective. Need help. Okay. You know what? If they're building ships, we can probably get some rocket parts from this guy. So let's go to Kenya. Take off. Can you go over there? <laughs> uh, I need more fuel. Let's go back to the USA. Fuel room. Actually, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some of that fuel. Actually, can I please? Oh no no. no. I'm gonna need some of that fuel back, buddy. I'm so sorry exactly four there we go off i'm st i'm i have no idea why why rocket ranger is the way it is the zeppelin fleet is moving much too quickly you must slow the rate of the Lutonian conquest where time is running short better hope this mission is a success as you approach the target, you hear the roaring aircraft engine. A crack fighter squadron has you in their sights, gripping your laser pistol tightly. You prepare to knock cracks boys out of- How do you know they're boys? How do you know the aliens are male? <laughs> you didn't even touch me. That's not fair. This, no, this, this is a video game. I'm, I'm gaming right now. I, how, you didn't touch me. Oh my God, did I spend all my gas for nothing? There we go. Boom. Let's just let them pass. I don't care. So the, 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 the laser bullet has drop off because as we all know, the earth is round, so. That's why it gets tricky. You have to be like close to hit them. Red. What does that mean? How about we read a page of text to find out? Parachute escape! Enemy gunfire takes out the rocket suit and you plunge earthward. You grope frantically for the parachute release button. Recessed into the left side of the pack. Your fingers seem to be moving in slow motion. Finally, the parachute opens. After a rough landing, you make your way out of the country. Okay, so I, so now this this is a thing. Okay, pick destination. I want to I want to be here. I don't have enough fuel. I cannot go there. Okay, send an SOS then. Oh man, 
it literally sends an SOS. Answering your SO your coded SOS. Yeah, my secret code called. Is it what is what is the name of the thing? I forgot it, so it apparently works. A navy ship picks you up, take you back to Fort Dick. Two long hard months later. You steam into port. Sure, you had a lot of tough time to tank, but the, Lutan the Lutonians had lots of time to do. Yes, Morse code. Thanks. That's what I meant. I was thinking of Braille for some reason. Okay, so I'm the worst rocket ranger in the history of rockets. Like, they just conquered West Africa. There's a oh, they, they're blinking, so they may have a report. Okay, awesome. Nearly captured. The place is crawling with aliens. Must be protecting radar installation located in this country. Please hurry. Okay. Got a radar here. Let's go for the radar. What? Let's try it. Do I have enough fuel? I don't think so. Okay. But if I don't have fuel, what do I do? Load. Do I have to, like... Like, if I spend a month, do you get more fuel? If I... Well, you know, am, I, am I stuck? Can I take off? Can I literally take off from this planet? USA to England. I can't go to England. I don't have frequent flyer points. Yep. I can't do anything. Let's, you know what? I'm gonna wait for some fuel. Oh no! They're conquering the Earth! Do I have enough fuel now? I rested. Damn it! Oh no! America! No! Damn it. America got... got... taken over. Again. Alright, Rocket Ranger, I think we're done with you. Interesting. Very interesting, honestly. It's kind of cool how much stuff there is in this game, but it's not very fun to play. But somebody probably loves this game, and I'm happy it exists. So, there you go. Oh, I'm probably- this is probably another strategy game. Hot B. Hot B Company. That's a pretty good intro. The ruler, Shingen. Let's let's see if I rule with an iron fist or if I rule with an iron, with a silver tongue. Hmm. Sound on. Sound. Sound off! Sound down, actually. January 1545. This is a strategy game. This is a strategy game. How many occupied regions do you give orders to? Obviously, three. Sir, we don't have that many occupied regions. Two. Sir, we don't have many occupied regions. One. <sighs> okay. Which region? I'm more of a seaside person. Uh, looks like I can't choose, though. Sir, 
What's the order? Uh, my cafe. I'm doctor. You may call me doctor. I'm the doctor. What can I do? Prevent or cures? Okay. You know what? Let's go back here. Let's let's. What is your order for the army? Enlist. Uh, we can afford to enlist seven corpses. Let's do three. Yes. We collected some infantry. Loyalty fell zero. Okay, so we're fine. Damn it, it's snowing. Disaster rose zero. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Nope. Which farm policy? Uh, you know, we got to develop. We we're de we're developing two farms. Yes. I'm sorry for no progress. Don't be sorry. Be careful. Oh my god. Something happens. Okay. Yep. Yep. Shinano. Shinano idea. We can't move because of snowfall. Disaster rose one. Uh oh. I'm gonna go talk to my general manager here. What should we do? Dig? Produce? Produce more. Er, uh, sure. 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 I'm sorry for no progress. Uh, what about Mr.? I'm a merchant. How about I buy... Some... Caviar. You know what? If we're gonna die, might as well eat well. Know what I'm saying? Sir, we need a little more money. Okay, just one. Oh my god. There's... You know what? You probably need to read the manual to understand this game. I'm gonna guess here. You can't just learn it as you go. Yeah. Sir, the air isn't born yet. Okay, so I gotta get laid. Uh, how would how would one have sex in this game? No, we can't pass. Would you like to save? No. I'm here, sir. Oh, I've got my ninja button. Uh, let's go spy on our neighbors to. The east. If I can... If I... If I... If I... There we go. Oh, this 15-year-old has $145. Hmm. That's just interesting. Okay, anyway. Uh, I... No, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Mister... No, that's a merchant. Uh, we can't make an alliance without a princess. Obviously. Okay, so we need to find a princess. Uh, nope. How much? I don't know. I don't know how much what. Uh, uh, let's go move our army to the west. We can't because it's snowing. Okay. Going. Okay, let's attack that 15 year old there. Teenagers, th teenagers these days are so lazy. Let's just attack their kingdom. If I can freaking. You know what? This is probably the first historical example of a a, a, a a royal attacking another place because he couldn't move the D-pad high enough to attack where he wanted to go. Let's attack these guys. Sir, all of them, dude. Oh, is Cav Cavalry?
Everybody. And we're going all out. We're going all out, baby. Let's do it. Oh, that guy's on a motorbike. Yes. Will you will you go to the battle? Of course. It's good it's good leadership. Troops! Let's go! Uh, automatic battle, yes. Troops, be careful. We're overwhelmingly powerful. Be brave. Rush the enemy. Oh, epic battle! Yes, I will fight. I'm losing almost everyone. Will you fight? Yes. Did I win? I don't know. Hmm, our Takeda army never lost. That does not tell me if I won, though. The rank of the army rose. And I do have this nice stick in my hand, so I'm very happy about that. Will you attack the castle? Yeah, baby, let's do it. Auto battle. Uh, I don't think we're gonna win. I don't think we're gonna get that one, buddy. We're gonna die bravely. Yeah, this is not... I'm pretty sure we're not gonna... You know what? I'm, I'm going in. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't think we won this one. They are so strong! Let's try again. I have an arrow in my back, dude. I'm not trying again. Anyway, I'm 24 now. What's the order? The order is... Oh, I'm gonna save my game, obviously. Don't wanna lose that progress. Sir, we can't let the occupied region do that. Okay, well, I guess the I lost so hard that uh, my enemy won't let me save my game. So, <laughs> there you go. Shingen the ruler. More like Shingen the loser. I'm sorry if I insulted anybody's culture, but this, this was not fun. Anyway... I'm not gonna insult anybody's culture when playing a Sammy epic classic shooter game, Silkworm. In the 1990s, scientists have completed the artificial brain MKC2. I'm trying to read the story, Silkworm. However, the MKC2 surpassed the intelligence of its creators and began to go against their commands. Oh no. It conspired to take over the world in order to rule over man as their god. The MKC2 began to control the weapons of the world. Look at these people, they're so unhappy. Okay, okay. Robert Stacy, get in the G Cobra. Wait, 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 wait. Robert is one person. Stacy is another person. Maybe a lady. That's pretty cool. Get in the G Cobra and the B Panther and set out immediately. Oh yeah, Roger. Damn, I'm in. Kelly or Jeep? Okay, I'm gonna go with the G Cobra first. Okay, okay, that this is a bit less exciting than the epicness of the story, but I do like the idea of choosing between a helicopter and a Jeep. And I assume two player is one's in the copter, the other's in the jeep, which could be a cool, a cool thing. But this is just a shooter, so, you know.
bomb. No? Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that blinky thing? Okay. What is that? What is that? Am I invincible? Am I on fire? Am I... Oh, oh, oh. They've got transforming robots! That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I want you to rule me as your god now. He's, invul He's invulnerable. That's not fair. The freaking transformers in this game. Or uh, more likely combiners. Whoa. Missiles. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. No, you're not going to combine on my watch. You're not going to combine on my watch. Oh, you're combining on my watch. I don't have any special weapons except... No. I can't select... I can't... I have to dodge, I can't... I have to die. Continue. Yes, of course. Oh, that's... I'm continuing from the very beginning, which... The G-Cobra. Kind of... As a G-Cobra, I'm kind of disappointed. Okay. Oh. I assumed Silkworm would be like a space shooter, but this is a future shooter, which is not the same thing. It's mo it's near future warfare. What is that? I still don't know what that is. Yeah, these guys are tough. Let's just keep shooting this guy, see what happens. He's invulnerable. Maybe you need to be both the Jeep and the helicopter to defeat those guys. Teamwork is essential to success in Silkworm. Maybe. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. You know what? Let's just blow up everything else. How about that? While you're being all fancy and invincible, all your friends are dying, jerks. Boss time! Also... Oh, crap. That's a big boy. That's... That's a pretty big tank. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not sure if I'm doing any damage. I'm dead. Okay. Let's, let's jeep it up for a bit here. There you go, it's, it's, this jeep can jump. Uh, how do, I'm not sure how to aim yet. Okay, so aiming is up and down and driving is left and right, which is kind of tricky. But let's get used to it here. Also, we. I actually think this works better. Okay. Uh, those were probably mines. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Okay, 
So the big, I can get power ups by shooting the things. Apparently. Now this is going way better now. Um, yeah, uh, when I play Silkworm, I'm a, I'm a Jeep main. Yeah, I main the Jeep. You know, it's just, it's just, it's more to my style, right? It's just better to me. Uh, yeah, see, I can blast through it like nobody's business. Yeah, I'm uh, the Jeep's way better. I'm literally invincible. He literally can't touch me. He literally touched me. He literally maybe can't touch me, maybe, I don't know. I don't think he can touch me. Am I touching him? I don't know. I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Ugh. Okay, okay. So I gotta touch him. Okay, so I blew up. Now, now I know how to do it. Okay, let's do it. I don't know why I couldn't destroy him at destroy the things, the robots as a helicopter. That seems like a design oversight to me. See that? I touched him like twice. Lost my power up. Damn it. No, 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 no. Damn it. Come on, come on. Give me something. Give me something good, fellas. I'm gonna need that. This is kind of boring. blew up and that's enough silkworm I don't really like silkworm but it works what about Solstice, I'm a wizard, yeah! 
I've heard this music before, I don't know where, probably on some weird YouTube video. Oh man. Yes. Isometric. Please and thank you. Oh man. Let's, let's get to it then. Oh no. Shadax, help me! Princess Alana! <laughs> I'm evil! Princess Eleanor is mine! Morbius! Release her! Nah, I'm Morbin! It's Morbin time! She is to lose her soul that I may become power before comprehension! Oh my god. He's gonna morb. No, I'm not going over there. Okay. So, down goes this way, up goes this way, right goes... Okay, okay. Jump. Okay. You know what? Let's just do this. Right here? Some goblins. They can climb. I'm out of here. Those things can climb. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. So... No, that's... Nope. That's... I just gotta get used to the controls. It's it's goblin time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just... Okay. Okay. This way? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Damn it. One hit kills. One hit kills, ladies and gentlemen. One hit kills, fellas. Guys and gals. Ghouls and ghosts. Let's go the other way then. What about this away? What about this away? Okay. Nope, that's not. That's not a step. That's nothing. That's. Not. Yep. Oh, he did the thing earlier. Okay, so he did this. He pushed this. In in the. And then this was a. This, okay. Can I grab that? No. Okay, well, I'm, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here forever. Or maybe I can do this. Do this. And do this. And do this. Nailed it. Okay, okay. I, I'm not very fond of isometric games in general because I have very bad depth perception. And oh! you better not climb up here, you goblin jokers. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Okay. This is just a big circle of failure. Aha! I've got a box. And it's in the corner. What about this way? That's a key. That's that's a key. That's a magic key. Hmm. Okay, I got a magic key. And I... Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay. Whee! That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, potions! What what do... What does thy potioneth... Doeseth to thy self? Um... I can't... I can't do anything to get the potions. And it looks like I've got a hat there. On the left. Can I upgrade my hats? Let's keep on. Okay, I was here before. Now I have a key though. Was there a locked door somewhere? Let's look at the map. Let's look at the old maparoonie. 
Nothing. I can't see anything of it with that map. That map sucks. Okay. What about this? Does not look like... What about this? What about... This away. This away. I died. Did I lose my key? Okay, no, I'm good. Okay. Now, where would I go? Unlock something with the key I have. So, boxes. Nope. And I... Like, they're in the corner, so I can't really push them. I can't really do anything. I grab them? I... These... I've got these magic potions, though. Ow. Uh, by the way, you've got limited amounts of lives. Okay. Now I know. Now I know how to play this video game. It's Morbin time. Okay. I'm speed running now, so I know where to go. Zero percent speed run, solstice, pro moves, magic key. I know where to get the magic key, but I don't know where to use the magic key. Did I do anything? Nope. Like these balls are probably for something, right? You don't just have balls hanging out for no reason. But can I? No, I can't push you. Oh! I think I grabbed it. Okay, so I can grab some things. So maybe those pink boxes from her, these ones. I grab these. Okay, okay, I, okay. I gotta be on top of them. Then I do this. I grab, and then I get out, and then I have to do everything again. This. Put this one there. Grab this one. Boom, boom. Like a good old-fashioned wizard. Okay, what the hell is going on? I got a credit. Listen, I gotta give credit to this game. Know what I'm saying? Uh, now it's in black and white. Yeah, the isometric is pretty good. I I've seen a few a few rare games, as in rareware. One a few of their earlier games were in this weird isometric view but I'm it, it looks cool but I'm I don't have the brain for this I always forget which button to push there's shoes over there do I put do I put that on top of the goblin is that what you're expecting of me video game Let's try that. Ooh, goblin! No. Okay. This is the only solution, right? Put the box on top of the goblin. Goblin! Okay. There's some there's some time. There's some time, there's some drop-off time here. Gotta, gotta be careful, gotta time it. And three, two, one. Goblin! That worked. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. Okay. Well, I can, but I can't. No. Three, two, one. Goblin! 
Goblin. Okay, we got this, we got this. <laughs> Magic boots! Sick. Some sick Nikes, you know? Some Air Jordans right there. Okay, you know, we like to joke around playing video games and have some fun. But uh, I'm pretty proud of what's happening right now. I think this is a pretty high-quality joke. There you go. Uh, I, I like this a lot, what's, what's happening right now. I like this a lot. Okay. What does the magic boot bring us in terms of superpower? Nothing. Nothing? Can I jump twice as high now? Bit yeah, okay. Magic boots. These boots are made for flying. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. This is gonna end poorly for. <gasps> it's good stuff. Thanks. Okay, we're getting better at this. You have one credit. Awesome. Okay. Video games. Okay. This is a well-designed game. There you go. What about this? Does this work? These, no, that's not the right, that's not the right, this is a bit longer, right? Adidas is like this. Yeah, the, you, you can't, you can't, you literally can't get the magic back of, of that first, that first hilarious joke. I, I pressed the wrong button and I died. But I still get to keep my boots. Okay. <gasps> no! Okay, I thought I was, uh... Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta time this one. That would have been a great time to do it. Let's do this! Yeah! Okay. Uh... Nothing yet. What about this room? There's a box here. Can I get the box and go to another room with no. Okay. Okay, so it looks like jumping on goblins is a common situation. Okay, that's not that's not going to help anyone there. Okay. Why would you give me this box, friend? I can do air box maneuvers. Look at that. Okay. Maybe it's just to make me learn that I can do the airbox maneuver. Oh, that box is gonna fall. I gotta... <laughs> Nailed it. This is getting tricky. How about I just try and... Yeah! Oh, wrong way. Okay, there's a... Sh Wait, what? Oh, the music is dying. I can grab that. And I... Hmm. Oh. 
I gotta find a way to... Hmm. That sucks. Hmm. Can't jump over there. That's too... That's... Okay. Okay, Solstice. I think the that's the end of my journey. Um, interesting. Uh, but okay, let's look at a professional here. That was a professional in action. There we go. Oh, he's just he's just showing you how to do it. That's. Oh, you can push it on his head. I was doing sick Tony Hawk's Pro Skater moves. I was doing airdrops. Okay, so we've got caves. we got teleportation machines, apparently. I'm pretty sure there was some weird, like, ex- Oh, man, I don't want to do that. I'm pretty sure there was some weird, like, Xbox 360, Xbox Live Arcade game that was basically this. No, 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 video game. You cannot do that. That's- I, I'm pretty sure that's against the Constitution. Oh man, I'm glad I stopped playing this game. <laughs> okay, that okay, that's that's all the variety Solstice offers to any young whippersnapper that wants to play Starship Hector. Hey, what's up? I'm Hector. I'm going to go title actually. What about the score? Okay, so let's just do normal. Let's let's do normal. Again, using all the bombs. Ooh, that's lagging. Well, that's actually helpful to dodge the bullets, so thanks, Starship Hector, for being laggy. Oh, Space Lobsters. Amoeboids. Giant Skulls. And these Space Lobsters are tough. Hello, hello, excuse me, excuse me, bullets, I would like to pass, thank you. Nope, no thank you, nope. It's like trying to go to the, to the store on Black Friday, am I right, fellow consumers? Hey, it's Squidward. I died. History 1, wait, what? What does that even mean? Am I traveling... Am I, is Hector a time traveler? Bomb. Bomb. Bomb voyage. Oh, I just noticed that I have health. Which is a good innovation in the space shooter technology. Lobsters, these lobsters. Oh man, these bombs suck. Oh man, these lasers suck. Oh man, this game sucks. You gotta be very precise. Can't beat Squidward.
I'm very curious about the five minute and two minute thing. Is it just like a two minute level and you get the best score or something? That's a that's a different way of presenting it. I got killed by a lobster. This is two minutes. There's an M2 on the side, so that means do I have unlimited lives for two minutes? No, I... well, I still have health. I still have health. I can just spam bombs, that's me exploding. Miss. Miss. I missed. That was it. Uh, maybe five minutes will be more exciting? Just freaking bomb everything! Their bullets are the same color as my bullets, and that's... That's annoying. Explode, you damn dummy. Miss. I missed. You know what? I missed, but I'm not gonna miss Starship Hector, because I'm gonna stop playing it. It's, uh, it's a space shooter. And I don't know why it's called Starship Hector. Maybe I should... Maybe I should check that out. Starship Hector. It's perfectly competent. It works. Starship Hector released as Hector 87. Okay. Okay, okay. It's a follow up to Hudson Soft's earlier sh shooter, Star Soldier, inspired by Tecmo's Star Force, an arcade game that Hudson has ported to the Famicom in 1985. The background music of Starship Hector was reused as background music in Super Star Soldier. The theme also appears in the Wii title Kororinpa, which, in, which itself has many themes from older Hudson Soft games. Uh huh, so space shooters, not only easy to make, but also, they just took stuff from older space shooters to do other space shooters. Awesome. Okay, now let's go to licensed space shooters. So you know it's gonna be good. So The Last Starfighter is a movie uh, where a young gamer which I believe his name is Alex, so that's why he would be at the top of the 
Greetings, Starfighter. I score Alex. I'm pretty sure the last Starfighter is Alex. And the story of the last Starfighter is basically... There's an arcade machine. And the guy's really good at gaming. And he literally becomes... A starfighter pilot in space to fight aliens. But because he has the high score... The story of Alex Rogan. A teenager recruited by an alien's defense force to fight an interstellar war. Because he was really good at the last, the last Starfighter. What I'm curious about though is if the arcade game in The Last Starfighter the movie is the game I'm going to be playing in The Last Starfighter the video game. Uh, the Last Starfighter... In... I'm going to have a quick look here on the YouTubes. On the video game tubes. It's an arcade game, and it looks like a weird... Hmm, that's probably not the same game, because it looks like it's... Way too 3D. Yeah, it's a 3D first-person... Kind of like that Star Wars arcade game. Star Wars Arcade. That would not run on an NES. Let's see what... Oh, man. That spaceship... Is not flying. Because I didn't click on the thing. Oh no, Last Starfighter has got speed and acceleration. I don't know what that is. My, my first reaction here? Ew. This is, uh, this is not great. This is a licensed game, for sure. Those things are flashing. I don't know what they do. Land now. You know what? Let's go super fast. I'm the last start fighter. Okay. Maybe let's go a little slower than that. Okay, look at how f okay that it, it is going pretty fast though, which is some pretty good scrolling there. That that's I have to congratulate these programmers on the speed of the scrolling. Okay, so I'm blowing up these things. These are planes, maybe? Game over. I didn't beat Alex. Okay, let's try again. So let's just let's just blow up everything here. See see what happens. Eh? Okay. Oh, okay. Is that the, f the, the other yellow guys, they don't seem to be on the same, at the same height as my ship, which is tricky. Okay, so those are walls. Okay, the, the things that make me blow up, they're walls. So don't run into the walls. Got it. Star... Starfighter... 101. Do not... run into the walls. That's... Do not get hit by the enemies. Step 1. No walls. Step 2. Enemies. I probably got it. Boost? Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Well... What is that? That's something. Okay, that's an invisible wall. Land now. Can I land here? Can I land... Can I land here? Can I... That's probably a landing strip, right? Yeah. Okay, watch out. You know what this feels like? This feels like a uh, higher resolution Atari 2600 game. It does not feel like an NES game. The noises, the, the colors, they all feel like last gen. Which is kind of a weird thing to think about when you're thinking of NES games. No! I don't know what can hit me and what can't hit me, so that's annoying. Okay, those guys can hit me. So, now. Nice and easy. Easy breezy. I'm not touching the, the video game. So I cannot touch the video game for a good five seconds before I have to do anything. Now. Oops. Too early. I decided to play too early. And... No! Wall. Again. Again! Why are you doing that now? <sighs> We're having fun. We're relaxing. It's a beautiful Saturday. Playing some fun video games, getting chased by... Okay, 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 so... I need to land here. This is a landing strip. Land, land, land. Land, 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 land. Hmm. Let's blow up all these ships then. Let's, let's do that. Okay. One. Two. Okay. No. How am I supposed to react to that? I'm beginning to think... I'm beginning to think it might not be my fault. The problem might not be me. Okay, land now, land now, land now. I'm gonna get to a landing strip. Let's just stay here for a while. 
see if it's time based. Okay, so yeah, looks like it's just time. Or maybe score. Why would it be score based? When it's never the same score. No, 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 no. Land now, okay. Land, 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 land. Lando Calrissian. Landy McGee. Land before time. Get it. Just don't get it, man. Can I land in these sparkly things? This is this is the, the next test. No, because that's a mine thing. Okay. Do not land in the sparkly things. What about this? That's a wall. Don't land in walls. It has to be the zero at the end of this of the screen, right? Of the level. That has to be it. It has to be this, right? This has to be. Land, 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 I would like to land. Please let me land. How about I land here? What about here? You suck. Greetings, Starfighter. Would you like to know the high scores? Yes, please. I wonder, am I in the list of high scoring people in this game? How about I speed up? Just let me land, just let me land, just let me land. There's literally four buttons on this game thing. Why is this so complicated? I'm gonna find the manual for the last Starfighter on NES. I'm gonna do that. Okay? The fuel rod chamber. Hmm. Your Gunstar is launched automatically and passes through the frontier, heading directly to our toward the nearest Isurian command center. A land now message will appear on the top of the screen. When this message appears on the top of the screen, 
approach the master runway from the left side and guide your gunstar to the center. Land in the direction of the landing arrows. Who's doing that? Okay. Okay. I'm here. This is this is this is it. That was it. I had it. I just want to see what happens when you land. Is that so hard to ask? That's such a big thing. Okay, so I'm here. But I got blowed up. Oh, by the way, there are mines in this game. Video game. How dare you, video game, to have a, a start screen that's similar to the one from Star Tropics. You don't deserve this. Also, mines. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I kind of like the idea of having a level where it's not like just go from left to right and then the end and the level ends but it's more like here's the level and you gotta like it kind of an open world ish thing this isn't the one though this is not This is, this is not the banger that we're hoping for. Huh? Huh? You're not getting me this time. Okay, land out. Land out. I'm landing now. I'm landing now. I said I was landing now. Maybe it's the shadow that needs to be... That would be... That sounds like the kind of bad idea a game developer would have to say, Man, 3D, am I right? Okay. Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Here's the thing, you know? When I decided that I wanted to play every NES game ever made, I was very specific. I told myself, I don't need to beat every NES game ever made, because that's probably not gonna be fun. And we're doing this to have fun, right? We're doing this because it's an experience. And we want to, you know, we like playing games. And games are usually fun. And you want to play them for fun. Sometimes, man. Games are not... Games are not fun. Okay, okay. Okay. Tell me to land, and I'll do it. Just tell me to land. It's time to do the landing. Damn it. There's a dot there. I don't know what that dot was. Okay. Going back. No wonder there's only one last starfighter. Who would want to play this crap? Again. Again. 
I better be kidnapped by aliens after this, because holy crap. Okay, it's time to land. I'm getting... This... this sucks, man. This... this is... this is not good. Ah, this is not good at all. You know, Starship Hector was pretty good. Like, I don't even have time to react. It's just... Oh! Sorry, buddy. Looks like you exploded. Did you not see the five spaceships? Did you not see the five spaceships going 100 million miles per hour? I'm sorry. I thought you were good at video games. So now we're gonna have those guys, and then we're gonna get by those guys, and then I'm gonna land. I'm gonna land. I'm landing. What? What? I was landing. Let me look at that manual again. Maybe now I'm gonna understand. To turn sideways... Press and hold the A button. This will help you maneuver through narrow passages. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's just try that. See what happens. Wow, wow, look at that. See that? See how cool that is? I can do a barrel roll. See that? See that? That's... Whoa, whoa. Will that help me land? What? I'm a smaller target like this. I'm freaking landing. I'm landing. I'm landing. I'm not even looking at the screen now. I'm just I'm just doing it from memory. <laughs> I've got a bad memory. Okay, this is this is the one. This is it. This is literally the last starfighter. And by last starfighter, I meant last five starfighters. I 
I can hold the button to make it shoot all the time. I learned that. I, I don't even get to the landing strip anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is the one. This... Is the landing. Okay, that's not the one. Why was it not the one? This is the one, though. This is it. Y y it has to be bottom of the bottom of the ninth final chance. That's the only way the last starfighter ends, right? You have to be desperate. And that's it. I did not get into the Hall of Fame, unfortunately. Last firefighter freaking sucks, man. I'm not even gonna watch the movie now because of this game. And I'm gonna stop for today. That was who. Holy moly. Okay, we had we didn't have a, a lot of hits today. Fortunately, but Rat Racer 2 was pretty good. I kind of like that one. So I'm going to say Rat Racer 2. My favorite Nerve Ball you're saying Solstice. Uh Solstice looks good. Not controlling as well as you would hope, but hey, Maybe that's my personal opinion, my personal favorite control opinions, but hey, it looked pretty good, I'll say that. And Rocket Ranger was a weird ass thing, so n not a lot of good games, but interesting games. And that's it. Mm, that's all. So... Enjoy your weekend, everyone. I'm gonna go play some Grounded, I think. Started playing that this week. It's pretty good. I'm glad I, I'm glad I waited for the full release and not just the early access because the story is pretty interesting and Grounded. So I'm gonna go play that. Anyway, that's it. Do not play The Last Starfighter. Bye.